Catch I'm, I'm good. I'm good. As good as can be. Kelsey. Kelsey Bruce, the athletic council so will start there. What was that conversation at halftime that sparked it? I mean, we just we didn't look like us. You know, I think when you play games like this, um, you know, I think the biggest thing. Oh, well, this is a bad idea. Um, just you know. Like understanding that we won game one and there's a different preparation, different tone they want to set. And they said in the press that they were tired, you know, so they, they believe that they just were tired and, and they could come out there and just play with energy. And they did. You got to give them credit and they made it tough. But, you know, we found some type of resiliency as a group um, on the defensive end. Like offensively, yeah, you know, you know, 71's great. But I keep I keep saying, like, we, we, we just found a way to get stops, crucial rebounds, crucial everything, you know. And I think that's what ultimately got us to that point. And sure, we had some things go our way, you know, the missed free throws stuff like that, but to ultimately put us back in that position, we had to get stops. Doesn't matter how many times you score, you have to get stops, especially being down, was it 18 and a half? Mm -hmm. So like, understanding that's what you got to do. You obviously have the, the junkyard yeah. dog chain on. Um, you got drenched by your teammates out on the, floor, on the floor afterwards. Having the support of your teammates after this type of performance, what does that mean? And what, I guess, what does this performance it means mean the, It means the world. You know, when you, it's, it's crazy, like, you know, I, I try to, you know, give my teammates all the credit because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, they trust me enough to make these plays and they immediately go right back and say, nah, like, screw that. Like, it's you. You know what I mean? And that just gives you confidence. And, you know, I told Serena the other night, like, I hadn't played to my best of my abilities, you know, and started at Toronto and then Brooklyn, you know, Indiana in the last game. So, like, for me, just trying to just be the leader that I can be. I haven't been the best and just trying to just force my sort force myself into the game and be a leader. But when you have guys that are consistently in your ear every second telling you to keep going, keep going, uh, it, it makes life, you know, very easy. Sorry, I'm not even talking into the mic. Going off that really quick, the, that mindset of after not playing a stretch of game, I feel like did you come in like, specifically wanting to – do something, I guess, yeah. to turn that around. Yeah, you know, and I try to set the tone early, and, you know, sometimes when you try too hard, you start messing up the other way. You know, when you start, like, pressuring the ball, and now Io gets by me. You know, now it's, a, it's where defense is collapsing, putting ourselves in bad positions because you're trying to be over-aggressive. Um, and then, you know, I think we were, we were all just out of sorts to start. And, you know, for me, coming into the third, it was like, to make the simple play. You know, whatever that may be, whether it's, like I said, getting to the basket, trusting guys, finding guys, and, you know, just get stops. And we were, you know, like I said, keep plugging, keep keep fighting, um, and, you know, just understanding just it'll, it'll come. Jason, Jason, what do you have Take us through the free throw line and the end of regulation. Yeah. With all those big dudes out there, how do you want them involved? Yeah, um, that's why I, I, I asked JB to, you know, put Rolo in because we worked on it in Toronto, but turn, they, they the guys seemed like they knew what I was talking about when I said Toronto, but they just told me they had no damn idea what the hell I was talking about. So, um, you know, we did it so long ago, but, you know, understanding that, you know, we I've done that in Utah. We went over that, and uh, we went over how to miss. Like, that's how, like, to detail Quinn Snyder is, how to miss. And, you know, um, just understanding that, you know, if I put it on the certain side, you know, Rolo's going to crash. I think it was J.A. and Rolo. I forgot what side they were on. But understanding that, that they're the they're the priority. you got to go in there and fight and compete. And they don't have two bigs to kind of go in there and com compete with those two. Uh, and knowing that the guy has to come from behind me to box me out. So if I could just get it on the rim with some loft and take off and use my athleticism to get there, you know, make the play. But um, if I had missed the first if I had missed the first one, I probably would have caught it and tried to find the corners. That's why you fill the corners out. Um, that was just the thought process um, at the end. So you like the ball rather than like the line? Yeah, because it's, it's, for me, it's just so unpredictable. Like, you don't know. It can hit and go right, hit and go left, at least when they've loft it. Like, for me, I put it up there, and it hits the rim, and it goes up. So now I can put myself in the play and then just go jump and try and make a play, tap it out, grab it, and in this case, make the lip. It looked like Kevin was going to that spot before they put Rob in there. Why did you like Rob in there size? Shooter. It's like, just in case you, I get it, I'm falling out of bounds. You have a shooter right there for the three. Bob. You're talking about outside the three, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I told him to come out because, you know, just if I get it or one of us gets it right to a shooter. Chronicle, did you ever score 71 points in high school, church league? Nothing. 2K. <laughs> uh, 2K for sure. I definitely, when I first got into the league, I played with my I played with as, uh, as uh, the Jazz, and I was just shooting it every time. I don't think I did it this efficiently uh, um, in 2K, but, no, I never have, and, you know, it's – the closest I think I've got was the bubble, maybe, when I had 57. But that was in a loss, so this one feels a lot better.
Chris. Chris Feeder or Cleveland, I found Pink Adam. Hey. You started by missing five of your first oh seven shots. God. How did you switch it around? Like I said, just keep plugging away. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to to BD uh, Brad Doherty, the the legend in the in the back. And the one thing he said, um, I'm not making this up by the way, so like I'm not capping or anything. But like um, like um, he was just saying like you know when you're going through slumps, like just one thing he saw like MJ do and other guys do like greats just keep. Matter of fact, this man, <laughs> I gotta give you credit too. BJ came in my came to my ear. I'm eating before the game, and he what you, you said. I can't really say what he said, but like along the lines of along the lines of like, and it caught me by surprise. I told the trainers I was like, "Damn, VJ really said that, you know." And it just like you said, just keep pushing. Like you, you a bad dude. Like keep, keep plugging away. And that's what happens when you go, you know, in these these streaks when you're not really shooting the ball well, not playing well as a whole. Um, and just keep just keep pushing. Be overly like maybe not overly aggressive, but just force yourself into the game uh, by any means necessary. Um, and that's what you end up. That's what I end up doing. Just keep forcing myself. And like I said, when you have the trust of your teammates. Man, it, it makes my life a lot easier. Joe, so I apologize if you've been asked something like this, but when you think about '71, you talk about Will, yeah. Kobe, um, Elgin Baylor, David Robinson. W- what does it mean to you to be hmm. in that kind of air? Hum- it's 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 humbling. Um, <clears throat> you know, I for it's it's. I don't, I'm speechless to be honest with you. When you when you say that, I think you know. For me, not only did I do that, but I did it in an effort where we came back and won, and it's how we won. That's really what for me, you know, was like, man, like this is, you know, nuts <laughs> to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm extremely blessed, you know, humbled that we I'm in that company, in that in that in that group. You know, I've always believed I can be, you know, one of the best players in this league, but I got to keep working, and this is just. This is a big milestone, but at the end of the day, we got to continue to. Those guys have all won, you know, at the highest level, and that's my ultimate goal. But to be there in the record books with them is, is truly incredible. So, yeah, Donovan, uh, number one, congratulations Thank on you. the Rock Yester for the Bulls. I called Kobe's 81 point game when I was with the Raptors. Oh, uh, so it was you. Yes. It was you. <laughs> so, when, like, when in this game did you sense something special was going on? Uh, honestly, the free throw. Like, you know, throughout the whole third and fourth, I was just trying to, like, anytime they score, just find a way to score. Just find a way to, whether it's myself, somebody, just just score. Just score, just score, just get us, keep us in positions. Because I knew we were going to get stops. Uh, but once I made the free throw, that's when I was like, okay. Like, you know, God's got something for me right <laughs> right on here. Like, you know, it's just, that can go a few ways. The ball can go left, the ball can go right. But, you know, it happened to go my way, and I made the layup. But once I made that, that's when I, I sat in the huddle, and JB and I started laughing. I was like, you might as well win the game, <laughs> you know, at this point. Uh, but the third and fourth quarter for me is just what my job is. You know, I take it, and, you know, it's it's going out there and just finding a way to win. Um, but, you know, the, the, the uh, free throw was kind of like, that's why I couldn't stop smiling after after that, because you know it's just one of those things, and I'm glad we fought and, and got the win. Congrats. Appreciate it. Dan, Thank you. Dan Cunningham, ESPN Cleveland. Donovan, you played every second mm-hmm. uh, second half tonight. What were the conversations with JB like about keeping the game? Just don't take me out. <laughs> uh, to be honest, that's why I told him. And like I said, when you you can say that I had that conversation and trust, but I was like, look, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll find my ways. And, you know, what really helped us get into the free throw line, slowing the pace down, slowing the game down. That was probably the longest third quarter I've ever played, um, just from all the fouls, just trying to get into the get into the paint. Um, they did a pretty pretty good job of me in the first game. So, you know, watching film, finding ways to attack uh, in seams, knowing where guys are going to help from, knowing where guys are going to be, and, you know, just trying to make those plays. And when you, when you ask to stay in the game and, you know, Coach allows you, you got to go out there and be able to, do your job. Otherwise, you know, you know, if I ask to do it again, it's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? So I gotta if I if I ask to do it, I gotta be ready for it. Last two, Chris and Jason. Donovan, that was one of the greatest scoring performances in the history of the game. Has that sunk in yet? You keep saying that, I keep like smiling. I just I don't know, man. It hasn't. It hasn't. I can't sit here. I probably will tomorrow. I don't know how much sleep I'm gonna get tonight, but it is what it is. Um like I said, man, I'm 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 humbled and, and and blessed to be able to be in that company, to be in this position. But it's it's crazy to say, but this is just one game. We got we got Phoenix coming up, a talented group. Um, we got to get our rest and get ready for that. You know, um, obviously DG and Ev weren't playing tonight. Um, we don't know what 
to expect in the, in the future. But all of us got to be locked in and ready because, you know, and you got to give guys credit for stepping up, especially Raul and, and Robin. Um, you know, whether Robin's seven minutes or Raul, Raul's 17, like being ready when, the, when your bell is called um, continuously. Kevin Love stepping into the starting position seamlessly. Like, you know, that's that's what we got to do. And Phoenix is coming in. I think they, I think they lost, so they're going to come in on, on some stuff, and we got to be ready for it. Hey, Sean, Jason. One more on the free throw. You said you went over that meticulously with, with Quinn in Utah. Did yeah. it ever work like that? Is it the first time it worked? Or is it work That's like the first. Oh uh, man, I'm trying to remember. That's the first time it worked I mean, that I got that I got the ball. I think I've done it. We've hit it out and we've missed, but I don't think it's ever it's ever worked. And for shooter to catch, for shooter to catch. you know, it's been happening recently. Luca had two of them. You know, I've watched the first one, so I was like, you know. It'd be cool if I could go ahead and get one, but you know, I think that's the first time that I've that I've got it for sure. How many times roughly do you think you tried that in a game? In a game, not many. Maybe maybe once, maybe once or twice. How many times did you drill it? <sighs> Quinn Snyder, a lot, but it was like probably like once every month or so. But like he would just make sure we had something in place and it started with having two bigs so my, when we first did it, it was Derek Favors and Rudy down there um, last year it was Hassan and Rudy um, and then we lost Fave. I forgot who our backup big was and that's embarrassing I should probably know that um, but you know that's um, that's kind of what it was just put the two big guys down there miss it tip it out and you know try to make a play Eric, thanks, thank, you. thank you thank you oh I want to say I'm um Prayers up for the for the Bill's safety, man. I, I heard about it. I didn't see it, but, you know, I wish him and his family were praying for him, all of us in the locker room. Kevin Love actually hit me on it and made sure we, we all want to, from the Cavalier organization, we want to wish the best and, and pray if everything goes well. So.